Hey guys, and welcome back to Fatal Frame 2. When we last left off, we still had a room to explore um, in the house that we just came from, but we've also opened another area up, which is ripe for the exploration. But I don't know if I want to do this yet, or if I want to head back. I think for now we're going to head back and check out what's in that other room. Admittedly, no, so every time we go in there, we need to both stand on a pressure plate. That's really annoying. All right, well, whatever. Yeah, you'll catch up. Don't worry about it. Unless you won't, and you'll do a sherry from Resident Evil 2 and just fucking sit down and wait for me to come back to you. Okay. Right, let's go. Hang on. Is this the only other way? Ah, hang on. So we can go down this way, apparently. Or we can go down this way, apparently. Alright, well, let's go this way for now. I can't remember what way we came up. This was the way we came up, wasn't it? Yes. Where's our sister? There she is. My God. God, like I think, like why would you give her a leg injury? Like the only possible reason they would give her a leg injury is to slow down the game. I mean, because the running speed as is isn't exactly quick. In fact, the movement speed uh, in this game and the first game is absolutely pathetic. But to, to actually slow her down even more? Come on. You're just, you're just taking the piss. Right. Come on, you. I definitely prefer the sections where she's not with us. Cool. Right, let's go. I think it was this way. That strain. Yeah, it was. It was this way and up the stairs. I remember things about stuff. Because we found some uh, holy water, or sacred water, same thing I suppose, in that clock. Right. Oh wait, hang on, was it this way? Bollocks. Near. Are you sure someone's near? Okay, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I don't know whether that was a capture moment or not. Right, so this is the room. And it looks like we've got a diary here. Ooh, the taboo tome. Amongst the carefully arranged books, one book in particular clearly stands out. The gate to hell is called the... Oh, something. Gaze not upon the something. Eyes that glimpse the something will be blinded by the something speak not of the something the mouth which utters something will be made speechless by the something listen not to the something those who heed the something are turned heartless by the something right Ooh. ah ceremony masters an outsider visited with perfect timing i'll use him for the hidden ceremony and pacify the something we mustn't ensure uh, we must ensure that he doesn't escape before that. Damn. Is this a door? An eerie mask stares into anybody that enters the room. It wasn't... There's something in the corner of the room covered with a cloth. You can see what looks like feet of a statue from under the cloth. Alright. Oh, ritual time. Among the carefully arranged books... Okay. If the something rumbles on a year without the ceremony, a kasabi is needed. A kasabi is an outsider made into a Buddha and offered to the something. The more they suffer, the greater the calming of the something. Oof. Okay. The Buddha statue was 
hidden in the shelves, holds a tiny key in its hands. There are some empty bookshelves over the Buddha statue. Writing is inscribed into the wood. Engrave the crimson butterfly to seal up something. If there is no sacrifice, repent with the kasabi. So if there's no sacrifice, then they need to kill... There's a lot of books here. Then they need to kill an outsider. Amongst the carefully arranged books, one in particular clearly stands out. The shrine maidens of the past and future made into crimson butterflies to return from the something. As guardians of the village, those that become butterflies ascend to heaven, parting the skies above, inviting the light upon us. Yes. It's not our fault. Twin tome. <laughs> How many books is that? Amongst the carefully arranged book, yeah. In the Crimson Sacrifice ritual, the Shrine Maidens become one again. They become a deity and appease the ex. The latter stays here, watching over the human world. Right, in the Crimson Sacrifice ritual, the Shrine Maidens become one again. They become a deity and appease. Right, the latter stays here, watching over the human world. The first shall pass through the X, calming the earth. Okay, disaster time. If the ritual is not performed, the some, the gate will open. Inhuman wretches shall burst forth from the gate. The villagers will be engulfed by the gate, and the sky will be plunged into darkness. The darkness will spread over the island for generations, awakening the gate. We must think of this disaster as a, a repentance for our failure to fulfill our duty to the X, which grants us life. We must accept that this is the reason for our existence. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. What's that? The Buddha statue was hidden on the shelves. There are some empty... Ah, oh, right, look. There's four shelves there. Engrave the crimson butterfly to seal up X. If... Yes. Right, so... I guess it's the taboo tome first. Uh... Twin. Nothing happens. Um, engrave the crimson butterfly to seal up the. If there is no sacrifice, repent with the kasabi. Right. So. Is it the crimson wing? Crimson wing. And then seal up the gate. And I'm guessing that means the taboo tome. Uh, sacrifice. Or I guess ritual tome. Uh, if there is no sacrifice, repent. So that's the disaster. Is that it? Ooh. Interesting. Uh, right. So which one of these... Old books. Right. Crimson. So that's got to be... So the Crimson Wing tome is crimson butterflies yeah the taboo tome is X right let me get my tablet out and write this down who would have thought this would have been important huh? move back keyboard so uh, wakey wakey tablet create note so Crimson is the butterfly, so it's crimson, crimson equals 
butter. Flo flies. Right, and the taboo. Tab. Ooh. Equals strange symbol. Uh, twin is the sacrifice, so twin equals sacrifice. Uh, disaster is the repentance. Disaster. I had no idea that there was going to... Well, I, I kind of thought there was going to be a puzzle in here, but I assumed it was going to be something that we needed to get um, later on. Like, there's going to need a key or something. And then I read the Buddha thing, and I was like, oh, there's going to be a key in the Buddha. I had no idea <laughs> it was going to be a puzzle like this. So the ritual... Okay, so the ritual is the kasabi. And ritual... Equals Kusabi. Right. Okay. Man, who would have thought having like a tablet with a stylus would be so useful? <sighs> okay, so. So the first one we want is the butterflies. So that is Crimson Wing. Next is the taboo tome. Next is the sacrifice, which is the twin. Next is the repent, which is a disaster. And then, oh shit, put that in the wrong bloody way, didn't I, Crimson? There's a kind of bit of a weird delay when selecting things in this game. It's kind of annoying. But then I noticed that in the first game as well. Twin, it was a sacrifice next, isn't it? Yeah, sacrifice. Uh, disaster. And ritual. There we go. Cool. Took about 17 years, but we did it. Put me tablet, Mac. There we go. Right. So, what's that given us? The light key. Oh, so we now have. So we now have the keys that we need. Where was that door, though? Where was that locked light and dark door? I can't remember. You removed the board that was blocking the door. Wait. Oh, right. Uh, light and dark door. Well, we can go down here and save the game. I can't remember where that light and dark door was. Which is... frustrating. Right, well, let's drop a save. Was it down... Yeah, it was down, wasn't it? I think. Underground. No, no, it wasn't down underground. Hmm. It was. So that leads through to the room that we've just solved the puzzle. Meditation room, master's room, partition screen room. Guest room. I'm guessing... It's not going to tell us. Where the... Which the locked doors are. 
Uh, so we need to go to the first floor. Now, that was the entrance. That's where we've just started to explore. There's the underground cellar. Uh, it's the connecting corridor. Right, this connecting corridor goes on to a lattice room. So that's where we just were. There's the warehouse. So the warehouse is where uh, Matey Boy is locked up. That's the grounds. Bloodstained room. Oh shit, I can't remember where the light and dark room was. Let's go back through here because I'm pretty sure it's back through this room and then there's another doorway in this room. I think, yeah. So this kind of connects the two sides together. Ooh. Hello. Easy sailor. Easy there, chief. You go steady now, lad. Right, we're going to hit you with some slow-mo. And then let you come closer. Yeah, how do you like those apples? I'd wager not very much. Good old progress, huh? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No. We've just lost our mirror. Shit. Um, I don't know. Oh, we've just saved it, haven't we? Yep. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I am not losing that mirror. Okay. Right. Let's try that again, shall we? A little bit less failure this time. I say, optimistically. Should probably eat some herbal medicine as well. Maybe. But we don't want to eat herbal medicine because we want to save it. See that core shop business? Um, oh, right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Son of a. <sighs> Absolute bastard. Right, once more we're feeling, eh? Let's give him a nice bit of... Ah, oh, I could have got a double tap on him. Really got to get better at those double taps. Because uh, that's where it is. Right, let's slow the bastard down. For a start. Maybe give him a little bit of a tickle with the old camera. Nice, that was a zero shot. I didn't think it was going to be, but that's fine. Right, come on you raggedy ass old bastard. I, I guess what's interesting here is we can actually use our sister as bait. Which is an interesting strat. One that I'm certainly not opposed to. Get fucked. Should be enough to finish him off. Yeah, that was that was pretty rough. <laughs> that really was quite rough. But he's dead now. Uh, I mean, deader now, I guess. Anywho, we've got a door to find, which was somewhere. Oh, wait. Wasn't the door around here somewhere? Thinking about it. Let's keep exploring. Yeah. Yeah, it was this way, wasn't it? The light. Ooh. Some dark keys. Can't see what I'm looking at here. Really annoying. I guess we're going in the right direction. Uh, I didn't do a huge amount of damage. 
that did. Missed the double tap again. It's a very short window on these guys. Literally. So these enemies appear to be doing significantly more damage than they were before. They're basically draining half of our health, or just over, in one hit. That's quite significant. Right, let's see if we can get that double tap off. You know what, he's nearly dead. Oh, that didn't even... That didn't even finish him off. Damn. Right, that's quite enough of your nonsense, sir. How many spirit points do we have? We've got a few. Uh, we do have a few. Right, so that. Hmm. That's 20,000. Might hold on. I mean, we could get a cl uh, accumulation again, but I don't think we're going to need that. Not yet. Right, can you fade off into the ether, please? Thank you. So. Yeah, well, we're not doing any rituals, okay? Not happening. Not on my watch. Now, what's the door down here? Oh, this is down. This taking us downstairs. Now, the fact that there's ghosts and stuff here now is leading me to believe that we're going the right way. <sighs> Doesn't mean we are, mind you. Is there any more down here? Wait. Yeah, you'd be fine. Oh, save spell. I'll definitely take the save spot. Yeah. It's got to be here somewhere, surely. I definitely... Oh, and... Ah, was it in that big room where we fought the priest? Possibly. Because this is the room that we need to find a particular key for. Yeah. Uh, what key is that that we need? A hammer key, right? So we need the hammer, and that's the escape room, so to speak. Right. Okay. So the room that we have the two keys for. I wonder, does that if we look at the keys, is it going to tell us like, oh, this is the key for blah blah blah? I think not. Shadow key. Was in the corridor. Yeah, great. Oh, was in the... Okay, it's just telling you where we found the key. The, the door that's in the corridor. Fantastic game. The corridor. Yeah, that corridor. How could I forget that corridor? Ugh. Right, okay. Come on, mate. Let's go. There's more trouble afoot. Or something. So, yeah, that's where we found the Type 61. That's the locked door. Uh, oh, that was... Right, okay. Damn, I'm a moron. Unlock the two cell key, yeah. I forgot that was the... Yeah, I forgot that was the door to the actual bloody uh, cell. All right. On the table, lit faintly by the paper shade lamp, there's some red stained writing paper. Beneath the table, there's a Japanese girl doll looking this way. Uh, okay, that's, that's fine. So this is the key. Oh no, it's type 90. Ooh, that's big boy film. When are we holding on to that stuff? Right. 
Inside of the tree is hollow. A wooden key is inside. Ah, and there's the hammer key. A hammer design is carved on this key. Maybe it opens the side door of that house. We know that much. Right. So, ah, folklorists. So, we know we need to go back up and have a look at that tree then. The twin shrine maidens are... Hang on, what is that? Folklorist notes 10. I, I like the way you can't go back through your... through these, um... Texts. The twin shrine maidens are sacrificed in the Crimson Sacrifice Ritual. Boys are sometimes used as well, so they have to be twin girls. Well, I guess, you know, maidens gives it away, really. Um, in this case, they're called tw altar twins. Right, so Shrine Maidens are female, and Altar Twins are male. Right. The people of this region believe that twins were once a single being, which was split into two at birth. Is it... is, is that... wasn't there something said to that effect in the original one? The ceremony is based on the belief that when the two bodies are reunited as one, the Shrine Maiden will gain the power of a deity. The text says the older sister must something something the younger bro oh but it's like murder the younger and throw her into the something. The something part must refer to the most horrible part of the ritual. It's probably some kind of sacrifice. Yeah, well we know that much. Oh, notes okay. As expected, the jailer won't tell me anything. Won't even say a word. There is a total reversal of the treatment I got when I came to this village. I guess this was the real reason I was invited to the village. The cell is also used to store documents. I was able to find several important manuscripts. I can continue my research, but I doubt that anybody will ever see it. <laughs> well, hellish abyss. It is unclear how long the hole that connects our worlds to the underworld has existed. They say that if the cover to it is opened, it will cause a terrible disaster. This is the origin of the Gate of Hell folktale. As a taboo word, it is often represented in other texts as, yeah, X. So that's the Gate to Hell. The suffering of the sacrifice is used to seal the hellish abyss. The mourners. They are the guardians of the hellish abyss, and they... Uh, and are the only ones that can get near it. When the year of the ceremony comes, the mourners sew their eyes shut so they cannot glimpse into the hellish abyss. Criminals and anybody that has seen the hellish abyss are also forced to become mourners. Ooh, nice. Afterwards, they live underground, never returning to the surface. What could be so bad that looking at it is forbidden? Hmm, what indeed? Okay. So is that all the books? I guess so. Alright. So we found some stuff here. And we can now finally get out of this area. Thing is, what about that twin door that we found? Uh like is it worth going up there and exploring that? Or is it worth just getting out of here? Cause kinda wanna see what's on the end of the lattice room. Even though <clears throat> I'm fairly sure that it's probably Ooh. Come on, let's get out of here. <gasps> ah. Mayu <laughs> What do we do? There should be a key somewhere. I'll go look for it. Wait here, okay? No, don't go! Stay with me. Mayu. I'll be right back. You I... just promised! Don't leave me. Please. Don't leave me. Okay then we will stay here with this locked door and die together.
be right back. I really will. Wait just a minute, okay? <clears throat> Dear sister, are you even yet? Ooh, the sacrifice. That was ominous. The key should be around here somewhere. This is definitely the location of the key according to the map. The map says Osaka House. The key should be there. So I'm guessing now we've got to go to the Osaka House, but the, the fuck factor we have is obviously we can't now open that twin door. So we obviously ran off from her as a kid. And she got injured. I guess. Yeah, I broke her promise as well. See, <clears throat> thing is, we have to leave. We literally have got to leave. Because otherwise, you're never getting out of there. Do you not see? If we stay here with you, we'll both starve to death or get killed by ghosts or something. <clears throat> yeah, so if there's like any secret goodies or something in that twin room... Oh god. Sadly, we're not going to be getting it. And excuse me, love. Like, I realise that you want to have a bit of a shindig, but... I, um, I need to save the game, because we're running over our time again. And I know you don't care about such things, but I do. Yeah, I'm guessing that didn't work. Come on. Let's do this. Are you going to attack? Or Oh, I hate these ghosts. Oh, I hate them. Are you going to do anything, or...? What's the plan here? Right, there we go. Yeah, though some of these ghosts are really irritating to fight. This one in particular. Really long-winded. <clears throat> I don't know whether... Well, I don't think it's a bug. I don't really... You just got to wait for her to get really close. I can't really be bothered to wait for us to do a weird upward attack thing. Yeah, ah, oh, come on. Uh, get patience is probably important with these guys, but... I swear the actual camera, obscure camera was more useful in the first game. There we go. That was a zero shot. So, so far these... Whoop. That's not going to work. Nope. Oh, she just runs straight towards you. If you miss that shot. I don't quite understand the hit detection of it either to be honest like because as you can see with that um, last shot where we got attacked that should have been a hit but the camera wasn't registering I don't know there's obviously some intricacies with the with the way the camera combat system works but I'm not a huge fan of it I'll be honest uh, it's not bad it's not broken like I say it's serviceable but I think it's 
it leads <laughs> is one of the biggest reasons why I don't think these games would ever dethrone something like Resident Evil or um, Silent Hill, or at least the early Silent Hills anyway, because they were quite tightly, um, quite tightly focused I suppose on their combat and um, general mechanics where they all worked pretty well. Whereas, like, the camera of mechanics from this game, I just... <sighs> Do I like... The... I don't know. I don't think I like the camera mechanics in these games. Um, yeah, it, it's... It's not a fun camera uh, combat system, in my opinion. Um, I think a lot of the ghosts and stuff are just irritating to fight. But I suppose on the flip side of that, there isn't really a lot of fighting in this game. Um, or in the first game like that either, there wasn't right, a huge amount of enemies. It doesn't break the experience, but unfortunately it's not like Resident Evil uh, where you look forward to the fighting. You look forward to seeing some zombies and some hunters so you can shoot them, get the shotgun out and stuff like that. When a ghost appears in this, you like you just roll your eyes, just like, oh, here we go sort of thing but uh, anyway that's just my opinion but I am really enjoying this game uh, and I'm looking forward to playing one more one more one more video and then I'm gonna be shelving it for another week until I've done my service at work so till then thanks for watching